everybody in the service, and we're so thankful uh, for the goodness of God and what the Lord has done for His people, and we appreciate everybody coming and being in the service. I want to uh, just say just a, just a real quick thing about how appreciative that I am as a pastor of the church about everything that's went on this past week, and I tell you what, it's just been such a glorious, glorious week, and uh, uh, all of you that came to the night services saw how the power of God was manifested and how God's presence visited with us, and not only in the night services, but well as in the morning services. It was uh, none, nothing no cheaper in the night than it was in the day. God uh, met with us, and uh, uh, no one will ever know uh, what all did take place this week, uh, but God knows, and uh, so many folks from other churches, uh, one dear man that came, it was his first time uh, coming up uh, from North Carolina, and uh, he wanted to know what church was doing this and what church did this, and I just told him, I said, brother, I said, Antioch, it does it all, and uh, he said, I've never seen nothing like this, and uh, I appreciate the labor and the hearts of God's people to work and to uh, just do what all that you've done, amen, to make the camp possible, and uh, I have a feeling, I know we had 260 chairs set out under the tent, and just about every night uh, the tents was full, and uh, I believe that God will continue to help it grow. I believe that there'll be more churches and more preachers. Uh, you do understand why God blesses it, don't you? And uh, if you don't, I'm going to tell you why God blesses it. Because there is every denomination that you could write down on a piece of paper that came to the camp meeting this week. Yeah. Every denomination that you can imagine. But when we all come together, I can assure you, it was not even felt that anybody was different. We all came together in unity and lifted up the name of Christ. And Christ was the center of everything. And God blessed that. God honored that. God's hand was upon that. Amen. It didn't matter what clique you was from. When you came down here, we was neutral ground. And we found a common denominator, and that was Jesus. And God blessed that. And I have a feeling that if we'll stay humble, and of course it's work, man. I mean, everybody knows. That's why today we're just going to have uh, Sundays, or we're just going to have regular worship service. Brother Danny's going to get baptized today. Day. And thank God, Brother Tim came back to the Lord uh, in the in the tent up here the other night. And I think Sister Tina said they too is going to get baptized. And uh, but I would just let you go home today and uh, rest and get you some strength and then service. I almost would have took service off tonight. I almost did it, uh, but I just I'm afraid that somebody may need the Lord, and I can't take that chance. Amen. If somebody come here on a Sunday night and. God dealing with them, I sure hate for the lights to be off and the door to be shut. And uh, so I, I thought about it for about 10 seconds, and the Lord said, you can't do that, Jason. Amen. So we, we're going, Brother Jacob will be here preaching. We've got to go down uh, in North Carolina at a baptizing at three. And uh, so uh, all the folks that had got saved uh, in the revival before the COVID, the great revival that we was in, uh, the, the preacher that had four sons and all of his sons and all of his daughters, daughter-in-laws had got saved. We're going to go down there and have a baptizing today at three o'clock. And uh, so you pray for us. The Lord would help us. But that being said, the first thing that we want to do in our service today, and I'm sure that everybody knows uh, about Brother Dwayne uh, Fields and uh, Sister uh, Regina and their daughter Lakin. And uh, a, a tragic, tragic, tragic thing happened yesterday. And uh, if you don't know, their five-year-old granddaughter, which is Lakin's daughter, uh, she was killed on a four-wheeler. And uh, I cannot imagine uh, the heart of that family this morning. I had the phone in my hand to call Dwayne and had the numbers uh, dialed, and I just wouldn't do it. I couldn't call him because I just didn't know what to say. I don't. I just did not know what to say. And I called Brother Eddie, their pastor, and talked to Brother Eddie, and he was there and told me that uh, he was there when they med-flighted her 
in and uh, was in the waiting room and he said the family's just in shock and devastated and certainly I mean it would be just like Addison that age right there it would just be like my granddaughter Addison and I can't imagine I can't imagine I, 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 I can't but I know that God we can't question God I know that we can't uh, amen even get that kind of mentality in our mind it's happened and we've got to pray for them we've got to pray for them we've got to ask God to touch their lives amen and God lay his hand upon them while we're praying Nathan Wheeler a preacher from down in Burnsville he works at a rock quarry and a rock about that big fell 10 foot and just about completely uh, crippled him up and uh, Brother Nathan is, is in bad shape. I talked to him this morning, and he said that uh, I told him that we would have prayer here this morning. So I would love for everybody that's got a heart, amen, let's come and let's pray for this dear family. Let's ask God in his way. God's got a way about him. I know that Brother Randall and their family has uh, went through what they went through, and Carter's done gone on to heaven. And, uh, you know, uh, I know their heart is heavy. And uh, but the Lord bless Carter to live 80 years. But you take a little old child like this, taken out of mama's arms. I can't imagine. Can you, Brother Walter? I can't imagine. We've cried. It made my me and my wife both last night. We got sick to our stomach uh, just when we heard the news. So if you can, amen, and you're able, let's find us a place on this altar wherever you want to pray. And let's cry out to God and let's ask God to help this precious family. Can we do that at this time? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, God. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, as we come before you, God. <laughs> oh, God, in Jesus' name, God, Lord, we come, God, to pray, and God, to seek the face of heaven this morning, Lord, that, God, that your hand, God of mercy, Lord, that your hand of love, God, that your hand of compassion, God, your hand of mercy, God, would be upon this precious family, Lord, I, I know, God, that you know all things, and God, today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we, we're praying and asking you, God, to move and to work, Lord, and to bless. Now, God, in this behalf, God, that you would go to this daddy and this mother. And dear God, in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would touch their lives. And God, that you would help them, Lord. And God, we know, Lord, there's no way, no how, God, that there's nothing we can say to them or anything, Lord, that we can do for them right now. But just ask you, God, to comfort them and God, to help them, Lord, that you would lay your hand, God, upon their lives. And I pray, God, for everybody, God, that was involved in it, God, that you would bless, Lord, and God, that you would move, Jesus. God, we know, Lord, that you're able, God, to do these things. We know, God, that you've got the power, Lord, to go to that broken heart. You said, God, that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you to set the captive free and to heal up the broken heart. And God, I pray in the name of the Lord, God, that you would just help this precious family. God, the hand of the Lord would move upon them, God, God, the sweet spiritual touch of heaven, uh, God, would come by their way, Lord, that you would give them, Lord, what they need. Father, we love you today with all of our heart, and we ask you, God, to help Brother Nathan Wheeler this morning, God, that you would touch him as well. And God, we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, God, that you would move, Lord, on behalf of this mother, and God, this daddy, Lord, that no doubt, uh, God, their heart, Lord, is so heavy today, God, probably tear after tear is run down the face and, and God Lord there's nothing Lord that we know to do but just ask the God of heaven and the Lord Jesus to make intercession and God in your special way I'm glad God that uh, you have a special way you've got to touch Lord like no one else can and I pray God in the name of the Lord God that you would help this family thank you today Lord for your mercy thank you God for your amazing grace God everything Lord that you've done everything Lord Lord, that you've given, Lord. You've been so, so good. And God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, God, to bless our service this morning. God, if there's any lost here today, I pray for their soul, Lord. Oh, God, we don't want to 
never see nobody lost without God. And Lord, leave this walk of world, this walk of this world of sin, and God die without you. And I pray, Lord, that Holy Ghost conviction and God would grab a hold of their soul, Lord. And God, we know the devil will try to fight. He'll try to do everything he can to tear down the souls of men. But God, I'm glad today you're the stronger power. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you'd save this morning. Oh, God, we got ready to go to the river today, Lord. Been a long time, God, since we've got to go twice. And God, Lord, two times in the same day. And God, I thank you for that. But Lord, we're asking you right now, God. I can't help it, Lord. I'm greedy for the souls of men. And I pray, Lord, that you'd let another one come home. And God, let another one find their place, Lord, out in the ark of safety, Lord. Oh, God, you're the only one that can do it, God. You're the only one that's got the power. I've got to break men and women's heart, Lord, to let them see. I've got, Lord, what the need of God is. I praise you, Lord, and I thank you for the Cape meeting. I thank you this morning, Lord, for what you've done. I God in the in the in the in the Cape meeting in the services and the young people, Lord, that's prayed and been baptized and, and everything, God, to bring honor and glory to your name. Oh God, you're good to your people, Lord. And as hard as it is, God, uh, for some, God, that's what's happened. I'm uh, not to question you, Lord, but God, we believe and know, Lord, that all things is in your hands. And God, that you work at all things to your people uh, to bring good to them, Lord. Oh, God, so please, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, oh, God, help the heavy hearts today. God, give us strength. I know the people that's labored this week, they're tired. God, they're wore out. Some of them had to push, Lord, even to come today. But God, they're here because they love you. They're here because they're, Lord, working on a, a different kingdom than the kingdoms of this world. God, they're laying up things. I pray, God, that you'd give them strength today. Give them, oh God, give them power in their spirit, Lord, to worship you, God, to give you honor and glory and praise. Father, we love you. We're going to thank you, Lord. When the sun goes down tonight, we're going to lift our hands and say thank you for another soul. Thank you, God, for another one that you've let come. In Jesus' name, hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, saints of God, we must worship the Lord. Right. Amen. Lift up the name of Christ. We ask all the young folks, amen, to come right on and sing. I'd like for all the young folks, if you, God done something special for you in the camp meeting, you'd like to testify about it. There's so much things God has done, but there's so much things that needs to be done this morning in this morning service. Amen. And it surely may happen just by your testimony. So everybody, mind the hand of the Lord today. Mind the sweet spirit of Christ. We love all of you and appreciate you. If you're here today and you're not a Christian, let me just say this. If you're not a Christian, amen, you're, you're, you're in the best place that you've ever been in your life. Amen. We want you to try to find peace today with God. It's, it's bad. Everybody in this world has went through life and maybe not had peace like they wanted to with mankind and maybe had alts against one another. That's a bad thing. Amen. But you know, people have said, well, I, I, it don't bother me how they feel. But you can't be that way toward God. You can't, you've got to have peace with God. Amen. When you lay down your head at night, to have peace with God, that means everything in the world. And if you haven't had that peace, I'll tell you something. It's, it's a good way to live. It's a good way to lay down on your bed at night and know that if you don't ever wake up in the morning, that you'll go to heavenly, to that heavenly world. Amen. Brother Carter's done there, Brother Randall. I believe that with all my heart. Man, what a spirit that just filled that funeral home yesterday. Some folks told me that they'd never seen a funeral. Amen. Like that. People just rejoicing and thanking God for, amen, the, the life that Brother Carter or live. I'll tell you this and then we'll then we'll let them sing. I got up yesterday morning and I prayed and I asked God I said God what can I possibly preach on today? Lord and I tell you just like a man would speak to a man the spirit of God spoke to me and said you preach
preach on the 12 baskets that was taken up. And I read about the, the, the Bible said that at the ending of the day, at the ending of the day, that the multitude was hungry. The Bible said that Jesus took those five loaves of bread and those two fishes, and he fed 5,000. 5,000 was fed. Amen. And the scripture said they was 12 uh, baskets taken up. And I told Brother uh, Randall in the funeral yesterday in the family, amen, Brother Carter had come to the ending of the day, and he had done fed all that he could feed. But thank God they were some baskets. Amen. That after Daddy's done been buried, they some baskets. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. They some baskets, amen. Amen, that's being left. And that's what we're doing today in the house of God. We're leaving some baskets for our children. All right, young folks, any of you, any of you want to say anything and testify, to your liberty to testify. Amen. We, we, we're we here today with folks that need God. Yeah. Don't back away from the Lord. If God touches your spirit, any of you folks like to testify? Anybody right now before we sing? I thank the Lord for what he did for me. Really gave me the desire to my heart. Amen. <laughs> Amen, Sister Sarah. Someone else up here, say something. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and um, for what I felt this week and what I've witnessed this week. And I'm thankful for what my children have witnessed this Amen. Week. Amen. Brother Daniel. I want to thank the Lord for saving me and everything he's done for me. During the camp, I was waiting on the little kids down there at the blow up slide down here. And I was starting to get a little bit hot. And it was almost like the Lord spoke to me and he said, he said, go down there and take your shoes off. And he said, said stick one foot in water. And he said, it'll cool you off. Yeah. And I went down there and I stuck <laughs> my foot in the water. And just one part of my body got cool. And my whole body got cool. And I started thinking about the body of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> If one of us could get help, it would cool the rest of us. That's good, Brother Dan. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you got God in your life, you can find a preacher can come in here and preach on a Monopoly game. <laughs> now, what about that? Brother Tim brought a Monopoly board and let you can see God in everything. Praise everything. Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody else up here say something for the Lord. Thank the Lord for saving me before, before camp. I, I knew I had God in my life, but um, I didn't know he could show me what a blessing a closer walk would feel like. Yeah. That he had more for me than just being saved. Amen. And I just want to thank him for last week. I, I probably wouldn't have even gone unless I'd been asked to be a counselor. And um, I didn't think I could do it. But you did it. Amen. But you did it. And what, what was it Wednesday night, maybe? We had a, amen, the Apostle Paul and, and Silas, we had a midnight baptizing. We had a midnight baptizing. Took Rachel down to the creek. Amen. Caleb pulled his truck down there and put the headlights on the creek. And we had a midnight baptizing. Hey, we baptized probably 20 this week. Amen. Probably 20. I ain't talking about kids going down like a Dutch of ducks leading down to the pond. I'm talking about kids that was crying. Amen. Weeping and mourning when they went in, thanking God for what the Lord had done. Hey, God's... Man, I know we tired, but I'm telling you what, God has done marvelous things in our eyes. We're in, we're glad, we're glad. And ain't going to do nothing if we'll stay humble. If we'll stay humble, we won't get out. I talked yesterday up at the Prayer Rock. Everybody in the camp yesterday for the first time together went to the Prayer Rock. And I'm praying every day that God tells me what to speak. That's how important it is when you stand in front of young folks. You want to know what? You know what the Lord told me when all them people was going up there? And I didn't hear no talk from nobody. I can say that before heaven. I, you know what I talked about? I told them all up there. I said, be careful about the drama of the church. Yeah. The drama of the church. Can you believe she done that? Can you believe he did that? Do you know what I heard about him? Yeah. Can you believe that's going on? Well, if I was in charge, I wouldn't be doing it that way. Can you? That's the drama of the church. And there's nothing in the world that'll drive God or drive wedges or drive God far away. Right. Amen. Then that right there. Yeah. Now, I hadn't. I didn't know nothing, Brother Brandon. I didn't know nothing about nobody. Nobody. I didn't feel none of that last week. But I ain't no dummy. I know that there's folks in every congregation that builds on drama. Yeah. Amen. If that's you, we're, we love you. We're praying for you, but we're not going
going to get caught up with you. Yeah. Amen. We got our eyes set on a big city. Amen. And we're not going to, don't, don't come to me. Did you hear this? And start all that. And don't go, don't get none of these sheep with you either. Yeah. Amen. Don't get none of these sheep, that old stuff. We don't, we ain't got time for that. Ain't got time for no drama. Right. Woo! We ain't got no time for no drama. We're trying to win souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. That's exactly what we're doing. So don't don't get caught up in drama. Don't get caught up in all that. You know it wouldn't matter if Jesus was leading the flock. There's going to still be people talk. Amen. And try to point and do that. Don't get caught up in all that. And just let it go, Lord. Just look at them and say, bless you. Hallelujah. Just look at them and say, I love you. It's lo just love them to death. Somebody else testify. Thank God for saving me for Amen, being Andy. part of the camp again this year, being a counselor and getting to be with the boys in the cabin and for the, the, the move of God we saw in the camp, the young ones praying and getting yeah. baptized and I thank you for the help I've got this week. I've, I've learned how to worship God for myself, not yeah. for the, to go with the crowd, but to learn how to worship God Amen. for me and the let my heart be connected with God, not connected through the crowd. That's right. I feel like I made a big step in my life this week. Amen. Learn how to get closer to God for me, not for everybody else. Amen. Live a better life, closer life. Thank you, Jesus. Four teenage boys had announced their call to preach before they got here. They're just preaching. I didn't know it. But they all got together there up there the other night and gave every one of them about 15 minutes and up there on the porch of the, is that right on the porch? Yeah. yeah. I give all them young preachers a chance and an opportunity. And uh, one of them young boys came to me the next day and he said, Brother Jason, he said, was you there last night? He was wanting me to hear him preach, you know. And he's had such a zeal, yeah. amen, to preach. These young boys coming along. And we don't ever know when that next Apostle Paul is going to be birthed. Right. Amen. Or that next, amen, Peter, James, or John. Amen. Just just a rejoicing over the young crowd that's coming up. Don't worry about dying off and they not being nobody here because they were here. Yep. They're here already. <laughs> amen. If I died today, I wouldn't worry about folks taking care of Antioch. These people here that's going to take care of Antioch amen. and keep the standard of God. Hallelujah. Praise Somebody Lord. else going to testify. I hate talking so much. Anybody else? Thank Lord for saving me and everything he's done to me and allowed me to walk a closer walk the Lord. Amen. Amen, sis. Amen. I'd like for everybody to pray for Mason and Morgan. Um, Short Ridge. I saw Mason this week. And you can see that longing in his eyes and that conviction. And I pray that the Lord will get a hold of both of them and yeah. um, deal with them as they get saved and uh, bring them back. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Someone else want to testify for the Lord? All right, anybody out here want to say something for the Lord? I, Tim, you ought to want to testify. Hey, man, where you at, Tim? Bo, stand up there and say something, old buddy. Oh, yes. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's glad to see him come back, wouldn't you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Glad to see him come back. Somebody else want to say something for the Lord? Lord's touched you this week in some way in the camp meeting. You'd like to just testify. And all of you that's had prayers and hopes that wasn't done, don't don't flush it down the toilet. Just wait. I say unto you, just wait. Be patient. Amen. The egg will start cracking for long. When it starts cracking, that'll give you a little bit more hope. You beat on an old rock. I beat on these rocks over here where Bob and Judy live. I, I wanted to mow that yard with not hitting a rock. I went through three sledgehammers a busting them rocks. But if I could get a crack in it, I know it'd break. And brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you, there's a God in heaven that's got some cracks that you just can't see. They may be hairline cracks, but there's a God that can break the yoke, my friend. Just keep awaiting. Anyone else? Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And we're proud to have Tina's mother with us for the first time. Proud to have her and Brother Danny's wife. Amen. We're going to baptize Brother Danny here in just a few minutes. Glad to have his wife here with us this morning. Amen. Someone else. I thank the Lord for saving me. I enjoyed this week so, so much. Amen. I 
young folks, sing for the Lord. Sing. Amen. I want to say, uh, Jason was talking about those cracks in that rock. And, uh, I'm with our young people a lot, and I'm not talking about the young people that came in, and I'm not going to say any names, but uh, one of the hardest young people that's under me, I've seen a big old... <laughs> Crack go down in this way. Hallelujah, Brandon. I believe God's going to save our people. Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brother Jason, I'm here. Thank you. Hey, I bless you. Brother Jason. Brother Benjamin. Yeah. 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 Lord, it, it had, had blessed you this past week. Yes, it is. And uh, it just blessed my soul because the first thing you wanted to do was the moment they hear what what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I, and I, and I, I, I was getting hard when I was a little feller. And, and I let people, people make me hard hearted. I was raised by every mobile feller that he said, You don't need to do that, you don't need to do that, you don't need to do that. And for kinder hard to live, it's kinder hard to live. Oh, yeah. because, because you try to, you try to put that in them when they get up big.
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank God for answering some prayers for me this week. Bless and you, I thank Him for giving me some words from Him and renewing me.
Everybody have your Bible.